Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Illinois Stories. I'm Mark McDonald at the Springfield Senior Center where they're celebrating 50 years of operations. The Springfield Senior Center is part of a larger organization called the Senior Services of Central Illinois. They serve four counties and serve tens of thousands of people. Well, on a normal day here, you'll see how busy it is in here. Hundreds of people come here every day. And beyond this, what you'll learn about is the dietary needs and how they serve nutrition needs of seniors and also transportation needs. And most of it happens right from here. Karen Shanker in the lobby of Senior Services of Central Illinois. It's a busy place. It it's, is it's a very Thursday busy day. It's a Thursday mid-morning. It just happens to be the culmination of your 50th anniversary yes. of yes. services. And uh, that's why the balloons is going. But it's just, it's busy all the time, isn't it? It's a busy place. It depends on what's going on here. Mm -hmm. There's a variety of, you know, we'll have presentations, we'll have different events, different classes. So it depends on the day, it depends on what's going on. It can be really busy, sometimes it gets quieter. Um, <laughs> but. This is who we are and what we do right. is help the seniors. I, I mentioned the balloons and we look over here and you've got your you've got your 50 uh, 50th year balloons there. They'll all get popped later on today because because yeah. uh, this will be the end of it. This is but yeah. Seven o'clock tonight. We're going to quit celebrating for a while. Fifty. Well, you've been doing it all year. Yes, 50 we have. Year, Fifty years is a big deal, though. It is. There have been people that have. Um, come in here as young people and left as old people. It's, it's, well, it's some people's, it's almost their whole life. It, yeah. You know, we welcome anyone 50, we call it 50 or better, mm -hmm. better. to come in for our activities. Yeah. And then there's certain ages sometimes that people have to be to qualify for different programs. But we try to help as many people as we possibly mm -hmm. can. And our mission here at Senior Services is to assist seniors in remaining independent and in their own homes mm -hmm. for as long as possible. And that's what we all want. We all want to remain sure. at home as long as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of non-medical services that that aim towards that. As we take our tour, I'll ask you some questions about okay. that and how that all unfolds. It's kind of a maze. So let's take a look at the facility and let's go that, let's okay. start that way. Okay? All right. Excuse us. Excuse us. Come around. There we go. Now, Karen, I understand that this building this used to be the outside of the building, and you all were needed room so badly that you went ahead and, and yes. built this toward the street. In 2003, we did add on 2,000 square feet. We got a, a very nice donation from a, um, the Harrah's uh, Incorporation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and so, yes, this was the outside of the original building that was built in 1976 uh -huh. by the city of Springfield, specifically as the, the Springfield Senior Center. And then we added on an L-shaped addition, and it's uh, various offices and activity space, a very nice conference room, which we couldn't do without. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's... That's what we'll see first. Let's go that okay, way. Okay, go to the conference room. Mm -hmm. And we'll see that the outside, really, because this is all, everything we see here has been added on. This is a new addition. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to... Sure, let's okay, take a look at they there. don't know that oh, we're going to... Oh, let's surprise them. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to let... <laughs> let's okay. surprise them. This is okay, a defensive you. driving class. Oh, okay. Excuse us. We're just looking oh. to see what you guys are doing in here. I hope you're learning. Are you learning a lot? We are learning a lot. Okay. <laughs> <All right>. Sorry. <laughs> So that's a very important room to us. We either, either have classes or our board meetings. We uh, um, all types of meetings, and it's actually open to the public. This is a public building. It, this is owned by the city of Springfield, it is. right? And, it and is. you all are, are are managed by a local board of directors. Yes, we're not really. Um, how do I say it? We're not really, I don't want to say we're not associated with the city because this is their building and yeah. they give us tremendous support. But yes, we are a separate 501c3, as you said, directed by yeah. a, a board of directors. Yeah. And, and it's on a public, it's on Springfield Park District property. And they also so take care of us, take care of the grounds yeah, for us. That's nice. We have some great partners between yeah. the park district and um, the city yeah. of Springfield. So we're very, very lucky and very uh, happy to have that partnership. After you. This is where we uh, house our adult protective services and our money management staff in this area. And again, this would have been the outside. This, this was the outside. And then again, this was all built on. 
this would have been the outside of the building right at one time. And right. Got, this yes. was uh, this room was, this all was all built, built on, on. Yeah. and we're we're short of room. We've crammed. You've we've done it again, haven't you? You every, filled it all up. Every space that we have. So whenever there is a storage room, and we need another office space. Okay, and what happens Sorry. in here? This is the office of the Illinois Senior Olympics. And oh, again, okay. we are partnering with the Springfield Park District um, to be the administrators of the Illinois Senior Olympics, which okay. every, this is Justin, no, Justin. Come on, come on through, Jeff. Come on we, we're in, in the way, right. we're in the way. Right. But just Justin Yuroff is yeah. our development officer, writes grants, brings money in the door. And he's also very, starting right now, being very busy with Illinois Senior Olympics. This is not a qualifying year, is it? This is not a qualifying year. Last year was a qual. Every other year is a yeah. qualifying year. You're probably year. somewhat relieved that it's not a qualifying year, right? It, it's still pretty hectic, but, <laughs> yeah. uh, but yes, the, our numbers will be a little bit Good. lower this year. We have like 11 to 1,200 seniors who come in in a, what, two-week period in the fall? Yeah, it's, it's about a 10-day period. 10-day yeah. period, yeah. Yeah. and it's amazing. Yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been here and seen them when they come into town. It's kind of fun. Last year, the youngest person was 49, yeah. and they were turning 50. Uh, and by the end of the year, so yeah. they qualified, yeah. and the oldest person was 99. Nine, 99. 99. And can you imagine uh, someone running a triathlon or biking or what was? Yeah, he, he uh, I did can't... a 5K bicycle race, and he did a couple of uh, running events, like yeah. a 200 it's, it's... meter run, 50 meter yeah. run. So wow, yeah, it's pretty pretty inspirational yeah. to see. So. Thank you, okay, Justin. Okay, we need to go. Thanks. Thanks. Bye -bye. Okay, Karen, we're in another large office space. Now you can see how you keep outgrowing your office space. What happens in here? This is our um, comprehensive care coordination, and they are social workers who uh, um, go to the homes of seniors, mm -hmm. 60 and over, and they assess their needs and put together a plan of care for those seniors. And, and again, the mission is for them to be able to stay in their home as long as possible. Yes, yes. And that's what they're trying to ad ad adopt a lifestyle for the, these folks so they can do that. Is Definitely. That they put that plan of care together and mm -hmm. then whether they need a meal or they need some assistance in getting dressed. Transportation. Or transportation, whatever it might be. Uh, information and assistance is in this office. Our um, Cindy Hopkins is our information and assistance um, specialist, and she can answer almost any question you might have. <laughs> so she's a, she's real busy most days. We set her out here in the hallway yeah. today for our anniversary. Sure, okay, and she'll get a lot of questions as folks start uh, her in. She mm -hmm. sure will. Mm -hmm. Hi, good morning. Hi. We're back in the lobby. Okay. We have people signing up for a drawing we're having for the anniversary. We have our scrapbook display. Of uh huh. Oh, that's the 50, 50 years of 50 history years there. Of okay. What's been going on? Okay. And here we go into the. This is the program room. Okay. The pre and this is where all the activities happen. A lot I guess, of different huh? activities: line dancing, square dancing, uh, cards. Uh, it, it looks singing. like it, it looks like somebody's got their taps on. I can hear the tap dancing right, from this here. This is the tap okay. class today. Okay. A little bit later this afternoon, the line dancers will be in here. They exercise in this room. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a multi-purpose activity room, and we can shut shut it off. Normally, it's shut off with those folding doors, mm -hmm. but um, we wanted it open up so people can see what what's going on yeah. in the classes. So, so when they're they're not dancing going on here, I think there was an exercise class here earlier in the day, and Correct. that's everybody. Oh, that music's going to be too loud. Okay, well let's look just for a moment here, okay. and then we'll get out of here because the music is so loud. But okay. at least we can see what they're yeah. what they're doing. They'll, this group will go out and do performances at various places, nursing homes, um, churches, wherever somebody asks them to come out. Uh -huh. And it's exercise. Oh, you bet it is. Keeping, oh, you bet keeping it healthy is. seniors healthy for as long as possible so that they don't maybe don't need those other services quite as soon exactly. in their lives. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Okay. And there's going one more going on in here. A little quieter. It's a little yes. quieter in here. Yeah. 
This is our artisan room, and we have, you can see the rug loomers are working, uh, make beautiful rag rugs. We have quilters over here. We have people. Slow down just a little bit. Okay. I've never seen, I mean, I, I've seen looms work, but this would be one way that you could actually learn how to, how to make George rugs is of our almost specialist, any kind, right? And George actually gives wow. lessons. Is that, well, that's So if perfect. somebody wants to learn how to loom rugs, yeah. they can come yeah. in. Now, it and, takes a while, And there's a loom it, here that they can use, right? I mean, they wouldn't well, have to. You have to have your lesson set up at a certain time because normally we have three people working. But when there's uh, somebody that wants to learn, George sets it up That's for them. That's great. That's great. Excuse us. And then you've got quilting over here. Quilting. And we've got hand work going on back in the back of the room. And then here in the center is our gift shop. And this is a fundraiser for senior uh, services. Everything in here is donated. Oh, is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then the sales, the, the, the sales that you pick up go into your general fund for they, operation. They go huh? into the activities. Activity because fund. Because quite honestly, our activities are not really funded by anything. Mm -hmm. um, that we don't have any specific grants. So that's why Jean Welch, with her trips, mm -hmm. supports the activities and uh, anything that's. And speak of Jean Welch, there she's coming in. <laughs> um, she does. She does the trips, huh? Okay. Yes, Jean does the trips. <laughs> Okay. Can we go? Can we go around this you way? You can. You go, and I'll um, fall does over. That, does that go out? Yes. Okay. Let's go that way. If we can get by June, this young we're lady. we're going to skip right by can you. Can we stop by you? I have a cameraman right behind me. Thank you. There's a. Okay. Well, I heard. I thought I heard pool balls. Yes. And there they are. Got exercise equipment here. These are our pool experts right here. Well, they, here most days, almost every morning. We, miss, misspent youth, right? Yes. <laughs> and we have exercise equipment that's mm -hmm. not being used right now with all the festivities, but yeah. but it does get used. I'll bet, doesn't it? Okay, let's see if it, let's just watch this shot just for a moment here and see what happens. Oh, look at no, oh, not almost. quite, not quite. That would have been a three bank shot for yep. sure. Um, Thanks. <laughs> we we um, are very fortunate. We have a lot of donors, a lot of people that come in and um, give us or make donations yeah. to specific programs. This one we just got. You can see April nineteenth uh, from the Great Lakes Caring uh -huh. um, organization, and so that is helping with the nutrition program. That's for your daily bread program, yes. and we're going to talk about that with your manager yes. that a little yes. bit later on. But as we look at this this large um, cafeteria and eating area, this gets used almost every day for meals. Doesn't yes, it? yes, a noon yeah. meal. It's a general healthy meal mm -hmm. for seniors, 60 and over. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, funded through the Area Agency on Aging, which comes through the Older Americans Act federal uh -huh. uh, dollars. And it's not fully, you know, it's not 100% funded, so we need to ask for donations. Mm -hmm. And so we have a suggested donation of $3 per meal. Yeah. Um, they don't have to make it. It's a suggested donation. And then, of course, we do fundraising and other donations. Well, before and that we leave this thing. area, I want to just take a brief look the at the kitchen, okay? Right. Because you Let's do have, this to, way. You have a, a fully commercial kitchen here, don't you? Excuse us. It looks like you're getting ready to, Excuse us, to serve ladies. today. Excuse us. Excuse us. Excuse us. Oh, that, there's, there's a lot They're going busy. on in here. They are busy. Getting My goodness. ready. They're, they're preparing uh, the meals to be taken out as well as the meals to be served here. Uh-huh. We're having a very special meal today. With, we're having steak. We're having mushroom, stuffed mushrooms, um, just because of our 50th anniversary. Look at, these, look at these stuffed mushrooms over here. These really look terrific. Okay. <laughs> And, this, and you're having steak, and it looks like you're going to have salad. Yes. Uh, potatoes and stuffed mushrooms. And we have some fantastic, well, we have anniversary wow. cake at noon, but then starting at 5, we're going to have uh, some very nice uh, dessert buffet. Ah, okay. So if we can go out this way. There's a corner. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you're, you. You're going through the back The back yeah, the, Now we're in the now. storage area. Yep. Yeah, yep. storage area. Okay. And this is our nutrition offices but then we also have um, our director is in her office back here of our nutrition okay. and volunteer services yeah and then sort of to end up the tour we're outside this is our we call it the cage where we 
uh, have our coolers and freezers for the nutrition programs, and we also store all of our vehicles. And this will be uh, completely full of vehicles when senior transport is do, not going out. because you transfer you transport so many people in a day. Not only here, but I mean, people have to get places. I mean, oh, not just actually, here, we right? prioritize our transportation, and the uh, first priority are, are medical trips. So for them to go to a doctor appointment, for them to go to dialysis, mm -hmm. for them to go to get a prescription, and then if we still have room, you mm -hmm. know, on the schedule, we'll take them to the grocery store, we'll take them to the senior center, we'll take them to get their hair mm -hmm. cut, we'll take mm -hmm. them to a friend's house. They just need to call and talk with our senior transport yep. uh, director and, and get scheduled. It's a wonderful service. It, yeah, really it is. is. It's very needed and yeah. when you lose that independence of driving, you, you really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So. Angie Jenkins, we kind of touched on this special dinner earlier. We mentioned the steak and the mushroom caps and everything, but not these immense raviolis. Right. This is part That's of the right. feast as, as well. Huh? It is, yes, yes. These are some um, stuffed raviolis. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, today though, with the special event, we figured, you know, we need to go all out, yeah, you yeah. know, because it is about the seniors. So um, our meal, <laughs> it's it's definitely a top notch meal Ooh, today. And asparagus wrapped That's in right. bacon. Yep, bacon wrapped asparagus. I don't, I don't think too many people are going hungry today. No, no definitely not, no. <laughs> No, if they say that they did not get full, then then we definitely yeah. have a problem today. Okay, now Angie, you're the you're the food service director. Is that the right? That title? is correct. Okay, yes. now we got to get out of here because I'm getting too hungry. But <laughs> if you would go that way, and we'll walk okay. and through and see what else you do sure besides thing. run the kitchen here. Okay. This this kitchen gets used for the daily meal more than uh, probably anything, right? That, That's that what is the preparation correct. is yes, for. Yes, yes, and any type of fundraiser that we may have within the agency, mm -hmm. we also do preparation here mm -hmm. for that too. So. And then what you also do is, and pro probably me. even a bigger part of your job. Is the delivery of meals? Oh yes, and yes. That's, and that's what looks like you've got all sorts of delivery that is boxes. Correct. These, these keep the food hot and cold, et cetera. Yes, yes. Matter of fact, um, you know, by the end of the day, all of these racks are going to be full with all the bags. So, mm -hmm. um, whether it's the daily bread program or the Springfield specialty meals on wheels, all of these racks. So full. they're out being delivered right now. That's why Currently. the racks aren't full. That now. is yes. Um, some of the special, the, or I say special mm -hmm. meals, the dietary, the special dietary needs, mm -hmm. those are prepared by Memorial. Medical Center, that right? Is the kitchen correct. over there. Yes. Because yes. they have the expertise to do that. And then your people sure. deliver them. That is correct, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, we we are the sponsor for the Meals on Wheels program. Um, but like you mentioned, yes, the yeah. Memorial Hospital handles the, the therapeutic meals. Do you have any idea how many people you feed here? We are serving um, between both programs, the nutrition or the daily bread and the Meals on mm -hmm. Wheels, we are serving about 600 clients a month. No kidding. Mm -hmm. That doesn't yes. include the daily meal here in the. In Not the our well, that does include our congregate sites also. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yes, so between the whole nutrition program, about 600 yeah. on an average. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boy, so. that's a handful. It is. Do you know offhand about how many employees you have in the food service? Um, I have about 13 total within the, you know, within our community mm -hmm. or our con yeah. counties that we serve. Yeah. Um, Sangamon and Menard County. And then you have so. the volunteers that do a lot that of volunteers correct. deliver. Yes, don't they? yes, yes. And we have. Right. Um, overall, with through um, the whole agency, we have about 90 volunteers. Wow. So, yeah. yep, and that's what we focus on. You mm -hmm. know, our volunteers is what keeps us afloat. Mm -hmm. Without them, we would not be yeah. surviving. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Stott, you got to feed a lot of people, and you got to transport a lot of people, and that's, that's what right. you do is the transportation part, that's right? Correct. You, you might have hundreds, what, hundreds of people a day that you're trying to get hither and yon and to appointments and wherever they need to go? Um, we give about 80 rides a day. Is that right? Yes. 80 rides a day. So mm -hmm. you have, obviously you have, it's important that you have enough vehicles and you've got large vehicles, you've got small vehicles. That's correct. And, and are they all outfitted for disabled? I mean, are they all, they're all for accessible Yes, folks? we have uh, seven minivans and they all are retrofitted so that we can uh, put a uh, fold the middle seat up and put a wheelchair in mm -hmm. there and uh, we also have two large er, larger buses that uh, are retrofitted yeah. with a lift we're looking at this is one of the larger buses here right that's correct okay and, and if can he operate that lift for us and show us how sure oh it's fast that thing really pops right down doesn't it yeah it does okay so then it'll, it goes down to uh, to road level and a person in a wheelchair can glide right onto that thing and it pulls them right back in, doesn't it? Correct. It's really nifty. Um, even if we get someplace and they have a uh, 
walker and can't get up the steps, they can go right onto that mm -hmm. and just hold on and yeah, right yeah. up and then up they go and in they and in there and it happens fast. So I mean, but, but you might have it looks like you could probably take maybe six or eight people, maybe more in that van. So you're making frequent stops and that thing has to it has to go pretty quick. <laughs> That's correct. It? An example of where you might take folks. Where do they need to go? Uh, well, we take them to a lot of doctor's appointments, dialysis. Um, we take them to chemo and radiation mm -hmm. treatments. Mm -hmm. um, we bring them here to the center, of course, for meals and other activities. Uh, right now, we're um, under some budget restraints, so we're not taking to social events, mm -hmm. but um, we're hoping that that yeah. can start again real soon. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, if someone, if you're committed and, and your group is, to uh, making sure that people can stay in their homes and be independent if they wish to be. One of the biggest things is getting around. You've got to be able to get around. Uh, you really do, and I think people forget how hard it is mm -hmm. or or um, how big of an imposition it is if you can't just go out and jump in your car and go yeah. where you need to go. Yeah, yeah. And they, and they can't do that on a whim. They have to make appointments with you, but it sure is nice to know that if they need to go somewhere tomorrow, they can let you know about it and you can make it happen. That's correct. Yeah, that's terrific. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, thank you. Celeste Costa, it's 50 years for the Senior Center, and it's 25 years for the Mature Mob, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you haven't been in the mob for all 25 years. Not but quite. But for most of the 25, you have, right? Yes. I joined in 2005. Yeah. You've been in a lot of productions. Yes. I assume it's fun. Oh, yes, it is. A lot of fun. Yeah. I went to the show in 2004 as a, a member of the audience and when I looked at the program I discovered that I knew almost everyone in the show because I had worked with Muni Opera and, and Springfield Theatre Guild in the past uh -huh. and all of those people had joined the Mature Mob in their later years and yeah. they were a part of that show yeah. and I decided right then I needed to become part of this group. Do you remember what your first show was? My first show was the Christmas show, the second Christmas show we did. Um, and it was um, at the Knights of Columbus. A it was a variety show, oh, I take me, it. It wasn't. It was at St. John's Luther. At St. John's Luther. Yes. A variety show style thing? Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Christmas. Yeah. yeah. They had done two Christmas shows. The first one that I went to as an audience was a Christmas show. Uh huh. And then the following year we did one. And after that, the cast decided that we didn't want to do another one because we missed all the Christmas activities. That's right. You have to work pretty hard to put we on a Christmas all through show. That. Sure, sure. So we decided that yeah. we would prefer to do it in the fall, <laughs> <laughs> and then we could still enjoy Christmas. And when you're a senior citizen, you can decide what you want to do and when that's you want right. to do it, right? That's right. Um, and I that's mentioned I mentioned 25 years, and this is this is a, a recognition from the mayor of Springfield recognizing a certificate of honor for the mature mob for their 25th year and you all have this um, this table here set up permanently with a lot of remembrances from from the shows of the past and I guess yes. this is a recruiting tool for you right yes it and you sure can see is. some of these many of these uh, these old productions a nice record of history and we've had a yeah. lot of people come by and and pick out their picture or pictures of their relatives that were in previous shows. Uh -huh. This book covers all 25 years. Yeah, that's interesting. That's really neat. And, and so, our intent is to continue it. Mm -hmm. uh, just keep it up to date. Do you know how future. many members you have? Uh, we have um, between 85 and 90 people right oh, now. Oh, you could put on a big show with 90 oh, yes. people. <laughs> yes. They aren't all in every show. No, of course, of course not. Of course and not. some of them are backstage crew and that kind of thing rather yeah. than because we do all of it ourselves. Yeah. It's all volunteer. Um, everybody has fun. That's our main goal. And, and you look over here, and this is this is also one of your one of your recruiting tools because you've oh, got. Yes. I mean, people look at that and they, oh, I know so and so, and I know so and so. Or, oh, that looks like fun. Right. I, I got to do that. Yes. We have a lot of good music and good fun and great dancers. Yep. Cab dancers, line dancers, and ballroom. You're dancers. a singer yourself, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. But I've been a dancer in my past. Yeah. So, so you, you'll take on a <laughs> you'll take on a number or two dancing as well, huh? Well, I don't anymore. <laughs> Leave that to the young ones. Huh? I'm right, right. The younger ones get to do that. <laughs> but I still sing in yeah. the chorus. Yeah. Thanks, Celeste. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Glad to have you here. Glad you're here to help us celebrate. Well, thank you.
beyond serving the basic needs of elderly people, I was struck by how many recreational possibilities there are here at the Senior Center. I'm just looking through. I, I talked to the lady that arranges the travel here. They're going to Cuba, France, Poland, Czech Republic. Uh, they've got some cruise trips lined up here. Um, so beyond what happens here on a day-to-day -day basis, there's all kinds of opportunities for recreation here. While they're celebrating the 50th year of Senior Services Center of Central Illinois. With another Illinois story in Springfield, I'm Mark McDonald. Thanks for watching. Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. For a DVD copy of the program you've just seen, send 1995 to Network Knowledge, P.O. Box 6248, Springfield, Illinois 62708. Be sure to include the program name, subject, and when the program aired. You can also order with your credit card by calling 800-232-3605.